Hi guys, welcome to Jazz Kitchen. Today I'm making mutton biryani. I have a neck meat here, 2 kg, and I have about 2 litres of water in there. I'm going to soak this and keep this for an hour and a half at least to get cooked. Once it's boiled, then after that I'll show you the next procedure. I'm going to be adding some other stuff in there as well. There's the water boiling. I'm going to add all the onion and I've got about four to five onion here. This is going to be a mutton biryani. And here's I have ginger here, about two or three, four inches and one whole bunch of the garlic. And that's and And I'm going to add tomatoes in there. Now I've got four tomatoes in there. Full. And I'm going to add a bit of salt in there as well. About two tablespoons. There's two kg of me. That's it. And leave that till boiling. Right, as you can see, I've just got about a little bit of water left. I'm going to add a bit of uh, chili. About one, two, three, four, that's it, and then add a bit of uh, salt in there as well. Just a bit, it's not much salt, it's, it's going to be biryani and I'm going to put, mix that well. And then you add the um, oil in there with it, about two to three scoops. Mix that well here, yeah? and then you add a bit of oil in there as well. Just about two to three scoops, yeah. Uh, that's one, two. That's enough. And then you cook this thoroughly and then you add a bit more masala in there if you need to. Right, as you can see I have cooked it for 10-15 minutes in oil. And I'm going to add a bit of chilli in there as well, cut chilli, give it a nice flavour. And also I'm going to add the yoghurt. Put the yogurt in there. Two tablespoons of yogurt will give a really nice flavor. Okay. And that's a Lancashire yogurt. You can add which one you want to prefer. Cook that for another five, six minutes. And then that will be done. Masala will be done. You can add a bit of water in there to give a bit of more gravy. And off we go, uh, of course, not forgetting the biryani masala, even though I like my own masala. I'm going to add this mutton biryani masala, just a little bit of it, not too much. That's about it. Not half of then you can taste it, see if it's all right, and if you're not, you can add more. Mix this well and taste the salt. That's perfect. You don't need to add any more salt. And if you want more spicy, you can add more spice as well. Cook this another five minutes, just like the way it is. Right, I'm going to add a few more masala, the masala, the mixed one, and chili flakes. About two to three spoons of chili flakes, the teaspoons. And then add a bit of the, the masala. I like, quite like the taste of it. That's about it. That should be enough. About one and a half tablespoon of the masala. Okay. Yeah. 
now I'm going to cook this for five minutes. Now, as you can see, it's all done. I'm going to add a bit of coriander in there. And I'm going to add the rest of it later on. Okay. Into the pile. This is done. And I'm going to boil the rice. I've got about two litres of water here. I'm going to add about three glasses of rice. Uh, add a bit of salt in there, about two to three tablespoons. Don't worry, all the salt won't stay in there. That's it. So do it, that give it a nice flavour. Mix it well, so it will stick to the pan. So until it boils, then we'll add the Right, as you can see the water's boiling, I'm going to add all the rice in there. Let's leave them until they get cooked and take all the water out. Right now, sit, they boil now. These ones. Right, you can add rice first or mutton, does not matter. Doesn't matter. Now you add the rice in there. You can add, first of all, you can not, don't forget to add peppers, green and red peppers. Don't forget them. And then you add your rice on top. You repeat the same process again like this. This is just the same way I'm making the other biryani, chicken biryani, but this is the mutton biryani, like people. That should be enough. Now you can add your peppers in there. You can add coriander in there if you like, and a bit of green chilies, not too much, just a bit, bit of clay. And you can add your coriander, which gives a nice color and nice flavor. Add more rice on top. Make sure your uh, mutton masala is very nice. Sometimes ready-made masala has a lot of salt in there and then you add in and then it gets too much. But you just taste them before you... My favourite is obviously chicken biryani. Not favourite but... Okay, I hope you enjoy this. And please do like and share. And try this at home and let me know in the comments did you like it or not try making your own gravy at home using outside masalas I, I, I don't prefer that much now that is and you repeat that all the way around yeah you've got more rice or more it does not matter you add the last bit of peppers in there because I love having peppers in my biryani they give a really nice aroma and add a bit of chilies that's it just a little bit and then you add a bit of coriander again on top like that mm. if you've got a little bit of rice left doesn't matter Got enough. That's it. Just flick them over like this. They'll look nice. And your biryani is ready. I hope you did enjoy that. Please do like and share and subscribe my channel. 
and please do comment i look forward to comments and i'll see you next um i'll see you inshallah next video with something new something different right as you can see this is my last plate and now i'm going to taste the biryani mm. this is very nice especially the peppers and, the, and the, uh, the coriander with it it gives a really nice aroma and really nice taste please i hope you do like and share and subscribe subscribe my channel i hope you enjoy this making at home i'll see you in the next video inshallah with something different something something new